Hi, this is Kevin Rickard, instructor for Oxnard College's CNET 161 Python Essentials course. In this video, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of Lab 5.1.6.4, uh, Reading Integers Safely. Uh, the objectives for this particular lab are to improve the student's skill in, in defining functions and using exceptions in order to provide a safe input environment. Most of the code for this is going to be focused on the second objective, which is using exceptions in order to provide a safe input environment. But we are going to define a function, which we learned in the last module, uh, module four. So if we look at the lab code, we can see that it gives you the skeleton over here. And what we're going to do first is we're going to define the function. And you can see that the function name is going to be read int, read int. And it's going to accept three parameters. It's going to accept a prompt, a minimum, and a maximum. And if you recall, parameters are really what a function will accept, whereas arguments are what you're, which is right down here, arguments are what we're going to be passing to the function. So in defining a function, this first part right here is the function. And what we're going to do is a lot of error handling in that. Then after the function is defined, really the program only has one line of code that calls the function. And so it's defining a variable v, and then it's calling the function readint, which we defined up here. And then it's going to pass it three arguments. It's going to pass it text that says enter a number from negative uh, one, or sorry, negative 10 to 10. Uh, it's going to, and you can see that's the prompt right up here. Uh, then it's going to have a min and a max value, and we got our min and max values right there. And then we're going to just do a simple print statement that says the number is, that's some text, and then it's going to print v, whatever we got back from the function we defined. So if you haven't figured this out already, and most of you, I've mentioned it several times, the code for this lab is actually already there. So if we're going to click on this little uh, hint button in the lower right-hand side, uh, we'll see the sample solution, and we'll go ahead and do that. So this is a fully functional program. Um, you could submit it as is, but you should take a look at it and really try to understand what's going on because these lessons build upon each other and future labs will be building on what we learn in this lab. So let's take a look, first of all, at the function we're defining. And if you recall the function, is really to just get a value and make sure that that value is between negative 10 and 10, and also make sure it's an integer. Make sure you didn't enter an A, a B, a C, or some other invalid input. So we'll define the function. We got the three um, parameters right up here, and we're gonna set a flag called OK is equal to false, and then we're gonna start a while loop. And well, not OK, so, it's not true yet, so it's false. We're gonna be doing this little loop. And then the other thing that we learned uh, is the try and accept. So this is for error handling. So the try says, let's get a value. And if we do something that's not correct, um, you know, like the divide by zero errors that they showed you in the modules leading up to this lab, uh, we're gonna, have an exception. So if there's a value error, we're going to print wrong, uh, sorry, error wrong input type. So that's what the try and accept does. Try says, let's get a value. And if there's some kind of error with it, we're going to do exception handling. And this is what we're going to do. So we're doing two things in this uh, particular function. The first one is we're going to make sure that it's an integer. And you can see right here is we're going to get value. And it has to be an integer. And we're going to do an input we're prompting. So what we're saying is, here's an input. Um, it's supposed to be an integer. And if it is an integer, then it's going to be OK. It's going to equal true. And if it's not an integer, we're going to print, uh, let's see if I can get this highlighted, uh, these two lines right here, um, uh, wrong input. And so that would be testing to see if you put in an A, a Z, an M, some other character that is not an integer. And if it's not an integer, it's going to say wrong input. Okay, so let's move on. If it is an integer, so it is okay, 
we're going to say is the value between the minimum and maximum that we passed to it, which is going to be the negative 10 and the 10. So with this particular um, argument that we passed into it right down here, we could change the 10, the negative 10 and the 10 to something else um, in this function. But this particular lab wants you to test between negative 10 and 10. So if it's OK, the value is there. Uh, we're fine. It's going to go on. But then if it's not OK, it's going to print the error. Uh, it's not within the particular range. And then the return, if you recall, uh, when you define a function, it returns something. And what it's returning right here, or it doesn't have to return something, but typically it does. And so this function is going to return the value. And so that is the function right there. So we're testing for two things. We're testing to see if it's an integer. We're testing to see whether it's in the range. And then if it is, we're going to return the value. So now that we've defined our function, we just write really two lines of code, which is right here. Uh, it's, a v is going to be a variable that we're defining as v. It's going to call the function readint. It's going to pass some text to it. It's going to say enter a number from negative 10 to 10. And then it's going to add, uh, say that the range is going to be for a minimum of negative 10 to a maximum of 10. And then it's going to simply print some text, the number is, and then the value v right here. So let's take a run through this and see if it works. So I'm going to hit run. And I'm going to put an 11 in. I'm going to enter. And you can see that the value is not within permitted range. And you can see right there the value is not within the permitted range. So that's what triggered that. Um, it didn't trigger it up here because it was an integer. So um, it passed that test. So let's run this program again. I'm going to hit run again. And I'm going to put in a D for a dog, which is right down here. I'm going to enter, and it's going to say wrong input. And you can see so it invoked two things, wrong input, and then it said the value is not within the permitted range. So let's run this a third time. And we'll put in the number 3. I'll hit enter, and you can see the number is 3. So it actually went through. It tested that it's an integer. It tested that it's in the range, and then we went ahead and printed it. Hope this video helped you. Um, if you have any questions, please email me. Thank you.